Oh man, that's a lot of parts. Hey guys, it's Andy here. This is a first part of a multi-part video series I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be showing you how to turn all those parts you just saw into this device right here. This is my cascading electrolyzer to make heavy water. I needed another one, so I decided to videotape the whole process of the complete build. The first step we'll be doing, we'll be building the frame. We'll be cutting all the material and mounting all the brackets, followed by the mounting of the other hardware, the power supplies. We'll get the um, cells each mounted. And then finally, the wiring will be the final stage of this. I'll walk through all the wiring, all the connections, all the way through first spark. I drew up this handy dandy cut sheet showing all the pieces of the uh, 2020 aluminum extrusion we'll be cutting. Here I had some extra pieces that I'll be able to get some of the smaller ones out of. I'll be cutting them on my bandsaw here. It's nothing fancy, but it gets the job done. And then I will be final trimming each piece to the final length here on the milling machine. Here's the raw stock I have. Okay, a few minutes later, we have all the parts cut. So here's a uh, drop off some scrap. And over here are the parts ready to be final trimmed. So right now we're gonna head over to the milling machine over there and trim them up. Okay, I just finished up the six side pieces and the two front pieces that will hold the uh, control panel up. So I uh, just finished these up. Next I'm going to be doing the 27 inch pieces for the front and back. Okay, next up are the nine pieces that are 27 and a half inches long. Got it in the vise. Got my mark. Time to make chips. Okay, we're all set. I have all the pieces trimmed up, squared up nicely on the mill. I have all my hardware to connect them all. Now it's time to start assembling. Okay, so there it is. The frame is all complete. All the pieces are cut. All of the uh, support brackets are put in. I put in the power switch and the blank panel. I still have to do all the cutouts for this. Uh, I just wanted to see it up and uh, for spacing. Uh, the, these supports really make this frame rigid. Let's see. I mean, you, you can see that's pretty good and it be, because it's pretty narrow it's only about eight inches wide so um it would tend to rack but uh it, it comes out really strong and, and it looks just like this one that's a good thing not too many leftover parts uh next step i'm going to be putting in the fans you can see here so i have to put in some little brackets down in the corner and then space out for the five fans. So soon, 
fans will be in here. Okay, I finally installed the clips that hold the fans in. You can see them spaced out here. They just attach to the rails. And what this allows me to do now is to place the fans down on this and then I'll just zip tie each of the corners down just like I, I did on the original. So I have to put these fans in here now. All right, just finished up zip tying down the fans so they're all nice and secure. Nice, even spacing. And then uh, these will keep the power supplies that go in here really nice and cool. As you can see over with here. Right now I left the wires, all the pigtails hanging down. It's going to get run down here and then down the side. But I'm going to leave that open right now until I put in all the power supplies. Just to save me some room. It, it gets kind of crowded back there. So, so overall, it was a good day's worth of work. Built up the frame. Got it all secure. Got the fans in. I think uh, next project, I'm going to be cutting out all of the holes for the meters and all of the probes and we're going to be doing that on the cnc mill over here so uh that's what next video will be and we'll pick up from there thanks a lot bye